Hi friends, this is Sophie. Welcome to Studies Cuisine. Today I've come with a very nice recipe which is most wanted and liked by many people around the world. And it's nothing but momos. So some call it dumpling, it's more like momos, okay? So I'm making very tiny cocktail momos and the filling is so tasty. I've made it before and even uploaded it, but today I'm making it out of shrimp and soya chunks. So hope you all are having a nice and uh, uh, joyful day today. Uh, thank you so much for watching my channel and you all have a nice and blessed day. taken the white shrimps 400 grams two packets which is 800 grams of shrimp which is already clean I will be cleaning it again and removing the outer shell of it each one under the tap this is 100 grams of soya chunk which is washed thoroughly here I've taken two bunches of spring onions and one bunch of coriander leaves which is thoroughly washed and kept ready for chopping. So here you see I'm just going to chop it very fine. I don't usually throw the stems because it has got a lot of flavor in it. This is the coriander. So here I have kept the soya chunks on uh, the stove for it to just get cooked. So this is how I clean my shrimps. I just, it's already cleaned, but uh, I just, uh, I mean the intestine is already clean along with the head. But this is how I clean, so you see, it's already clean. But when you turn and see, you have, you see another string. So I usually take that out by putting a, a slit and I just stick it out this way. You see here? I take this out this way. And I just clean it. I try to take the whole thing out. They say it's clean, but I want to even clean this part. So sometimes even after you clean, the black mark remains. That is okay. And even after cleaning that, you have to see that you clean it in running water. Okay, so that is what I just did. Okay, let's clean it, take out the skin, just pull the tail from, and then the whole tail comes out. See, it's already clean from behind. But here, when you turn out, you'll see a string. So I just put a slit and I take it out this way. then it's all clean, okay? See? So I'm almost done, I've just got one more. And I always buy the clean one because it's so much easier to clean. Even if it's just a little bit of cleaning, I don't have to go through the whole process of cleaning. Because then it's going to take so much of time, you see here? Just have to pull it out, okay? back to you and uh, that's the reason some of us have the stomach upset and they say oh we, we are allergic to uh, shrimps so one of the causes they get stomach upset is because they don't clean the shrimps well and that's the reason you get stomach upset okay so we have to see that whichever shrimps we get we have to clean the intestines which is very important 100 grams of uh, uh, soya bean chunks taken uh, two to three large onions which are very finely chopped. I have this 800 grams of uh, shrimps which are de-veined and cleaned. I'm going to really 
chop it very finely uh, and this is my ginger garlic and chili paste which I'm going to uh, combine with all of it and I'll be back after I chop my shrimps so uh, this is how I just chop it I just put it and I just chop it very finely okay you just have to just chop it however you do it is uh, you don't grind it but you just chop it you grind it it becomes very pasty so I prefer chopping it into very fine pieces like this okay so this is how I do it by chopping I need this so here I'm going to put it in this container because you need a large container for mixing the whole thing right and comes the next bit of it and I've just finished the whole thing and I'll get back to you So this is the shrimps that is cleaned, chopped into fine pieces, 800 grams of shrimps. I have 100 grams of soya chan, that is two large onions. We can put some spring onions, okay. um, coriander leaves. This is my ginger, garlic, and chili paste. I'm putting two teaspoons. So this is fish sauce. It doesn't give you the smell or taste as such of fish. So I'm just putting just maybe three fourth of a tablespoon. Oyster sauce, one tablespoon. Soya sauce, I'm putting two tablespoons. Even if you don't have any of the other sauces, you can put the soya sauce, just that, okay? Don't worry about the other sauce. And this is sesame oil. One, two tablespoons. One tablespoon of corn flour, or you can put even plain flour, okay? And now we are just going to give it a mix. Everything together. So you can add in the egg white if you want, or one whole egg. Let's see how it goes, the binding. It should be nice and you know, uh, all well combined. So I'm going to use my hand and uh, we need to put some salt. Probably we put one teaspoon of salt and we'll see later on. Okay, we don't want it to be too salty because the soya sauce and all the sauce has got its own salt content, the sodium. So we'll be careful while putting the salt. Okay, so here I'm using a glove. We're just going to mix it nicely. So, 100 grams of uh, soya chunks is nice. Well, it's just enough, okay? Sesame oil, I'm just putting maybe uh, one more tablespoon. So, we put two tablespoons of sesame oil. see that you mix it all well okay so, so it should be this consistency like we need to put it in and it should hold on to it okay so that's pretty much so this is ready uh, you can use the ready-made wrap or you can make the wrap I have already shown earlier in my earlier uh, moments how to make the wrap okay I'm going to use the ready-made wrap now so this is it and I'll be back Okay, so this is the wraps you get uh, as dumpling wrappers. So uh, it's around 450 grams, and uh, I'm going to use this for today. Very easy and very convenient. You see? Like, you see? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got a plate that is just brushed in oil, make it wet. It depends on the size of the wrapper, how much you are putting. You shouldn't overfill it because then it's going to come out and it it will just, you know, uh, it won't serve the purpose. So, it's pleated, pleated, depends on how many plates you want, okay? Cute ones, they're very small ones. very tasty. 
cannot resist the flavor of all what is inside. Okay, and if you feel it difficult, then you just have to press it on all sides. There's no need of any uh, design. Okay, just press it from all sides. And what you can do is you can also press it this way. This way. After you've pressed on both sides, you can just press it this way if you're not. Uh, if you find it difficult, this is another way of making it. But it's quite easy, you know. So I'll just finish the whole thing and I'll get back to you. So yeah, I've inserted it. It's boiling. I'm going to put it on high flame for five minutes. We'll close it. And then after five minutes, I'm going to put it on low medium for another 15 minutes. So around 20 to 25 minutes, it's going to get steamed for the first five minutes on high flame and for the rest 15 to 20 minutes on low flame, okay? So here, I'm going to open it. It's around 22 minutes. Here it is. It's nicely done. I'm going to put it inside my casserole. You see? You can fry it too if you want to. These are fairly small. You can even take it after, say, 20 minutes. But I keep it for 25 minutes because my only the shrimps has to be cooked. And shrimps get cooked very fast. I'm going to put the next batch, line it with some oil, before that you have to see you have enough of water inside, put that here, put all the dumplings in this, you have to just put a moist cloth over it so that uh, it won't go dry, okay, when you're keeping it after making, okay, so I'm going to put it on high fire for 5 minutes and then for 15 to 20 minutes on uh, low medium. Okay, so I'm back. So this is for the chutney. I've got one tomato. Okay, you see how it is boiling and I've even put around 8 to 10 uh, red chilies. These are not very hot chilies, so I put more of it and let it boil and nicely get uh, cooked and then I'm going to take it out and then just uh, grind it for the uh, sauce. Here's the lovely momos, shrimp momos with red chili sauce and soya sauce. So it's so juicy. I tell you, let me just dip one and eat. You see? It's just so good. I'm going to dip the soya. It's fantabulous. It's so, it's so good. So juicy. And the shrimp flavor is too good. If you want to try it, please do share it with others. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and spread the news around for people to really try the momos. Very good. Very good. Thank you for watching and you all have a wonderful day.